How to keep your license with an SR-22 reporting requirement. An SR-22 is verification that you have car insurance. It is also called a Certificate of Financial Responsibility. You may need to ask your insurer to file it for you if you have been arrested for driving under the influence. Your state will want proof from the insurer that you are carrying sufficient insurance coverage. To get your SR-22 filed, contact your insurer. Part 1 Asking Your Insurer to File an SR-22 1. Identify if you need an SR-22 Your state will require your insurer to file this certificate in a variety of situations. Although the precise situations might differ by state, the following are common. You were convicted of DUI, DWI. You were driving without insurance. You were involved in an accident that caused serious bodily injury. Your driving record has a large number of points. 2. Check if you need an FR-44 instead. An FR-44 is like an SR-22. However, the SR-22 only states that you have bought your state's minimum required insurance. An FR-44 certifies that you have bought a level of insurance higher than your state's minimum. For example, in Florida, you'll need to purchase at least $100,000 in liability insurance if you must file an FR-44. Look at your court order to see which one you are required to get. You can also check with your state's DMV office. You will still get an FR-44 the same way you get an SR-22. 3. Ask your insurer to file the SR-22 certificate. You need to have an insurer issue your SR-22. You can't do this yourself. Instead, the insurer must send the certificate directly to your state. Accordingly, call up your current insurer and tell them you need an SR-22 filed. Some insurers don't file SR-22 certificates. In that situation, you must shop around for new insurance and buy a policy with an insurer that will issue the certificate. Avoid keeping your current insurance, but shopping for an insurer that does provide SR-22 certificates. This type of dual insurance is illegal. Don't think that you can avoid telling your insurer because you are moving out of state. Your current state will still record your license suspension in a national computer system. Before you can get a license in another state, they will check to make sure you have followed your former state's rules. This means you must still file an SR-22 certificate with your former state. 4. Pay a fee Insurers will charge different amounts to file the certificate. However, you generally will need to pay $15.25. Check with your insurer about whether you get a copy. An SR-22 certificate isn't like an insurance card that you keep with you. What's important is that the certificate be noted on your driving record. Nevertheless, your insurer might send you a copy if you want one. Call and check. Confirm that it was sent to your state's office. It can generally take up to 30 days to be sent and processed. 5. Discuss how much your premiums will be. You can probably expect your insurance costs to increase because of the DUI or serious accident. Many people who need an SR-22 filed are considered high-risk drivers. Accordingly, talk with your insurer about whether your premiums will rise. Whatever you do, don't turn around and cancel your coverage because the premium is now too high. If you cancel your coverage, then your insurer must report this fact to your state's DMV office. You could lose your license if you don't pick up another insurance policy. If you want to switch policies, then make sure you have another policy in place before canceling. 6. Get the certificate even if you don't own a car. Your state can require that you file the SR-22 certificate even when you aren't a car owner. 
you will need non-owner SR-22 insurance, which you may have to shop around for. Don't get a non-owner policy if a vehicle is still registered to you or if someone lets you drive a car regularly. Only purchase non-owner's insurance when you have no car and no regular access to one. If you choose to purchase a car, then contact your insurer immediately. They will change your policy to an owner's policy. 7. Maintain your coverage. You need to carry the SR-22 for several years. The exact amount of time differs by state, but many states require it for at least three years. Check with your state's DMV office. The amount of time might differ depending on your offense. You should also check if you can be relieved from filing. Call up your state's office and ask if they can review your record. In some situations, they might relieve you of the requirement to file an SR-22. Part 2 Shopping for New Insurance 1. Determine how much you need Each state has minimum insurance requirements. If you have to shop for a new policy because your insurer won't issue an SR-22, then you need to know these minimum requirements. You can check with your state's DMV office. Generally, states will require that you have liability insurance to cover injuries to all people in an accident as well as property damage. Your state's requirements might read 25, 50, 25. This means that you need at least $25,000 of coverage for injuries to one person, $50,000 of liability coverage for injuries to all people, and $25,000 of coverage to property damage. Remember that you'll need to get more than your state's minimum if you need an FR-44 certificate issued. You might also decide to purchase more than the minimum to protect you in case of an accident. For example, you could purchase insurance to cover your own injuries if the other driver doesn't have insurance. 2. Gather Required Information Insurers will request common information, so you should gather this information ahead of time to speed up the process. Gather the following. The type and amount of liability coverage you want. Your car's make, model, year, and vehicle identification number, VIN. Age and sex of the drivers. Number of drivers. Where you park your car for the night. 3. Obtain quotes. You can get quotes online or by calling insurers. National insurance companies have agents all over the country, which you can find in your phone book. Also look for smaller insurers who may advertise in the phone book or online. You can also use online aggregators. They will take your information and then request quotes from many different insurers at once. You'll need to follow up with an agent but these aggregators are a good way to check at a glance how much each insurer will charge you. NerdWallet will allow you to compare insurance quotes from many different insurers. 4. Tell an agent you need an SR-22 If you talk to an agent, make sure to mention that you need an SR-22. You need to know whether the insurer will issue one. You should also call if you got online quotes. If an insurer doesn't issue SR-22 certificates, then cross them off your list. 5. Compare policies Once you have quotes, compare the prices and the amount of coverage offered. You might want to purchase the cheapest insurance, but make sure it is equivalent to the others. For example, the cheapest insurance could offer the least coverage. Analyze whether the policies have deductibles. This is the amount of money you will need to pay before your coverage kicks in. Generally, the higher your deductible the lower your premiums. Also compare coverage limits. The more coverage you get, the higher your premiums. Consider the insurance company's reputation. Visit your state's Department of Insurance and check the number of complaints consumers have lodged against the insurer. 6. Review your policy. 
check that it includes all the coverage you requested. If anything seems wrong, then contact the agent to change the policy. Only sign the policy once you agree with everything in it. Ask your insurance agent questions if you don't understand anything in the policy. 7. Purchase the policy up front. An SR-22 is proof that you have insurance, now and in the future. Accordingly, you might not be able to continue to pay monthly premiums. Instead, you might need to pay the entire premium up front. If you don't have the money in your checking account, think about paying the premium with a credit card. Even if you don't have to pay up front, it might be a good idea to. If you miss a payment, then your coverage could be cancelled and you might lose your license. By paying up front, you protect against any missed payments.